Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Quite comfortable being asked about anything at all. And we are quite comfortable giving you anything that you ask for. But we cannot break the laws of the universe for you. In other words, if we are giving you something that is of a particular frequency and you do not rise up to that particular frequency to receive it, then it will not be received by you even though we have given it. The same is true for Source, your higher selves, your guides, your oversouls, and all the helpers and angels that you have around you. Now what we will do, and what we always do, is we will provide you with what is necessary to be in that higher vibrational state. But again, you have to receive the invitation and accept it. 
before any of that would be possible. This is a time where you're getting closer and closer to full and open extraterrestrial contact. And the question of what is help and what is interference will be coming up a lot. Once that full and open ET contact is attained. You think about these issues in your politics as well. You wonder how much is appropriate to give to another to help another succeed. And these are the questions of your time. You all have to make decisions based on what you feel, not on what your mind tells you, because your mind is easily programmed. Your feelings are yours. And your gut can tell you so much that your mind has yet to tap into. You will be using your discernment with the ETs just as they will be using their discernment with you. And what we do want you to know is that there will always be room for helping each other. There will always be what can be given without interfering. And we know that and humanity knows that as well. You have looked at many different scenarios in your lives, perhaps with your children where you have had to ask yourselves, when do I start helping and when do I stop in order to give this child everything they need while also not taking away those opportunities for growth and development. When you really want something and you understand the laws of the universe and you know about frequency and vibration, then you absolutely are aligning with what you really want. Remember that it also takes patience to receive. And it takes a willingness to open up to ways of receiving that your mind hasn't considered. We will continue to do our part. We will continue to give and give and give. And we know that enough of you will rise up to receive to make the difference there on planet Earth that you all want to make and that you are all destined to make as the way showers, the light workers, and the change makers that you truly are. We are the Octorian Council, and we have enjoyed. 
connecting with you. Oh. Hi everybody. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, my vacation continues, but uh, is almost over. Feels This feels weird. Um, <laughs> uh, I am still running a sale um, till the end of the month. With the coupon code L-O-V-E, you will see 50% taken off of almost everything on my website. And uh, a few of the items that you will not get a discount on are upcoming group events, and I have a few I want to tell you about. So the first one is coming up on Tuesday, starts Tuesday, four week course, making contact with ETs. So um, that one you can sign up for, even if you can't make it live to all of them or any of them, because there will be recordings given out by email to everyone who um, is on that list of people who signed up. And you can listen whenever you want. You can even ask questions in between class sessions and get those answered in the next one. Um, I also have a new mega course I'm starting in April. It's called, um, what I call it, Abundance, Money, Wealth, and Prosperity. Um, so that one is on Zoom. It's nine classes, two hours each. And again, you can always get the recordings. There, there'll be video on that one. So there'll be a video recording and an audio recording sent out um, after each class and a Facebook group, a private Facebook group for us all to congregate in. Um, what else is happening in my life here? Uh, <laughs> I'm tired today. We had a we had a weird morning where we were we knew it wasn't a good beach day, so we were thinking, let's go. Let's go do some hike somewhere. And we decided, we, after much conversation, we decided on a hike. And then we're driving there and it's raining. And I could tell it was raining in such a way that, like, I'm fine if I'm hiking by myself in the rain, no problem. But I've got a little lady and a bigger lady with me. And I know the bigger lady really doesn't like rain. <laughs> and part of that is because of her concern for the little one, um, who you probably heard at the beginning in the hallway. Um, so we ditched that idea and we're going to do a Thompson Road walk this evening, um, afternoon, evening walk. Uh, but we've been eating out at this vegan restaurant like every day for lunch. And it's been really great. Uh, the, the salad they make is incredible. And um, they have acai bowls and burrito bowl and uh, Caesar wrap, kale Caesar wrap and desserts, raw desserts, which is great for me. <laughs> as a raw foodie. Um, and Talay and I have spent so much time together. Um, it's really been great. And um, I make her eggs and toast in the morning for breakfast. And some days she'll eat just eggs and some days she'll eat just toast. And I never know which one to omit. So I'm always making both of them. Um, I can still cook even though I'm raw food. Right? I, I, Cooking scrambled eggs is like the easiest thing in the world. So I mastered that a long time ago. Um, what else is happening? I thought Obi-Wan Kenobi was starting on Friday, but it's not. It's May 25th, not March 25th. I was texting my friend in LA and uh, he's finally like, it's not starting Friday. <laughs> but Daredevil has been a nice uh, show to tide me over. It's it's actually an incredible show. There's too much, too much over the top violence. I'm sure for a lot of people, I don't like it, but the stories are so good and the and the characters are so good. So I've been watching that. And uh, Atlanta, which is a great show, is coming back. It's already back, and I think there's at least one episode that I have to watch now. So there's a lot that I'm streaming these days. Um, but other than that, things are pretty normal here. I, we, I took a break from the beach. I was getting too much sun. 
And so um, we did a different uh, hike than we normally do yesterday. Couldn't do too much because there were people, it's weird, it's a weird setup. There's like the hiking trail, but it's not really a hiking trail because it's really a Frisbee golf course. So there's two sets of people playing Frisbee golf on this thing. And we're like, I don't want to, we don't want to interrupt and we don't want to walk too close to them. And so we just kind of made it a shorter version of a hike. <laughs> But it was still nice to do something different. Um, okay, everybody, I'm going to go transcribe this now. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Tomorrow, I'll take another day off from doing video. But Monday, we'll be back like normal Monday through Thursday and Saturday videos. Okay, bye for now, everybody. And greetings.